Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Kariboni Korojas Kakasungura YouTube channel. And a big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Kakasungura ninavosema kwamba tupigi siyasa hapa tu peke yake. Pia tunasaidia watu kwa ground. We are building houses for the needy. Kuna jamaa tulishoot video yake jana. Anaishi kama ndege. He lives like a bird. So we are heading there. Uh, today, to end the foundation, to end kujenga nyumba. I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Na kama unajihisi kwamba umeguzwa, please send us your contribution. Tunataka mabati, tunataka misumari, tunataka vitanda, tunataka milango, tunataka madirisha, tunataka mattress, tumunulia masufuria, kila kitu so that anze maisha vizuri. Na unaona picha zinazopita hapo, that is how this guy lives. Ni mzee wa 70 years na alipoteza watoto wake 8 children walikufa kwa ugonjwa ambao haujulikani na akazika bibi yake so anaishi peke yake kwa maisha kama hayo so kaka hatupigi siasa kwa hii platform peke yake tuko ground kusaidia watu ambao hawajiwezi so support us na nashukuru kwa wale ambao umetutumia donation yenu nitakuwa naisoma kwa next video but now I want to address the issue that happened yesterday night. Unajua wacha nitumie lugha ya Kiswahili ndio kila mkenya nielewe. Wa Kenya watukufu siasa ya Kenya si geni kwetu. Na serikali ambayo iko uongozini is using a script that has been used before by other presidents. So hakuna kitu kigeni ni siasa ambayo tumezoea. The tactics ambazo tumezoea kila wakati rais mpya anapochukua hatamu wanarudia script ambazo zimepita for this case serikali ya Kenya kwanza inatumia script kidogo ya uhuru Kenyatta na kubwa ya rais aliye kuweko rais Moi so combining the two scripts Kenya kwanza have no new idea to run government. Nasema nini kaka? Jibu ambalo nata, watu wengi mmeniuliza lakini swali ambalo nilikuwa nataka kujibu ni why is Kenya kwanza government wants to scare by arresting Fred Matiangi. Ni kwa nini serikali ya Kenya kwanza imeanza kumutishia aliyekuwa waziri wa usalama daktari Fred Matiangi Sababu ni nini? Hilo ndilo swali ndakalo lijibu leo. Ni kwa nini serikali inataka kum, kumkamata? Na sio tu kumkamata. Why is the government scaring Fred Matiangi? I have an answer today for you. Haya maneno yote yameletwa na mazishi ya waziri aliyekuwa waziri wa elimu professor George Magoha. Nataka unisikilize na unifuate vizuri. Mazishi ya Professor George Magoha yamempatia Rais wa Kenya President William Ruto headache how to deal with it why the former president who is Uhuru Kenyatta with his entire cabinet took over the funeral now in a country where the president has united the nation haya mazishi yangefanywa na serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Right? Lakini sasa serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta kupitia aliyekuwa super serious Fred Matiangi it took over everything in that funeral. Na mkumbuke nikiwaonya kuhusu hili swala. Kwa maritareta vita. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilifungiwa nje kwa haya mazishi kabisa hakuna mahali wanaonekana. Uliona Rigadi alikimbia pale kuambia watu kwamba tutawapatia chakula it backfired and what people, the community started asking kwani muliona tuko njaa mnatusaidia chakula Professor Magoa is a rich family so do we necessarily need your food it backfired kwa hivyo Kenya kwanza ilionyesha madharau kwa familia ya Magoa from the word go wakati kasha wanaenda kusema kwamba tutawapatia chakula Yaani you want to tell me kwamba familia ya Magoa inahitaji chakula from government. So they cannot afford a family of professors. Ha. What a mockery. Hayo madharau kwa sababu Magoha alikuwa ni mtu mchapakazi. 
mtu ambaye alifanya mambo mengi katika serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta wenzao waliokuwa mawaziri Fred Matiangi, Joe Mshuru, Rafael Tuju na wengine wakaamua kwamba haya mazishi ni ya mwenzetu tuliyefanya kazi pamoja we are taking over everything uliona Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa pale na Uhuru Kenyatta alichapa serikali ya Kenya kwanza ulisikia wakati alikuwa anamaliza speech akisema kwamba kuna watu wanapiga kelele kwa sababu hawana kazi ya kufanya. When Fred Matiang took the microphone, Fred Matiang affirmed that the president Uhuru Kenyatta together with his former entire cabinet will be presiding over the funeral. Now, this thing angered William Samoe Ruto. The move, the blocking Uhuru blocking William Ruto from the funeral of George Magoa has anchored the Kenya Kwanza family. Baada ya kuwafungia Kenya Kwanza wamekasirika. I was going through the program. The program itself is a novel because it's about how many pages were this? 40 what pages? Let me let me refer so that I be very accurate. It's a program of about 46 pages ladies and gentlemen. 46 pages that is a program ya professor nikiangalia hii program yote hakuna mahali serikali ya Kenya kwanza imewekwa hili jambo limewakera sana William Ruto na wenzake wamefungiwa kwa mazishi kama rais unafungiwaje kwa mazishi ya cabinet secretary rais a president how how do you how do you miss to attend a funeral of a former CS how uliona macho walikuwa pale eh, leading other CSS in bank tribute mazishi ni tarehe 11 na tarehe 11 hii the ground is hostile magoa hakuwa mtu wa siasa ndio lakini serikali iliyopita ilikuwa imeanza kupanga hali ya mazishi kuyatumia kama platform ya kugonga Kenya kwanza. Manipata. Walikuwa wamejipanga kurusha mishale. They had sharpened the arrows ready to release them during Mawas funeral. Now, Ruto is a tactician ni mtu wa mikakati atatulizaje hii mishale ambayo tayari imewekwa tayari kumaliza the best thing is to launch a scare and to launch a scare is to intimidate the engineer of the funeral who is dr fred okengo matiangi matiangi is the heart of the magoas funeral so By disturbing Matiangi you disturb the entire program because Matiangi is the top root Matiangi is the heart Matiangi is the engineer Matiangi is the architecture of the funeral Matiangi has drawn the picture of the funeral so by disturbing Matiangi you disturb the funeral right so kwa hiyo program ukiangalia MC wa hiyo program the official MC ni Rafael Tuju. Rafael Tuju ni mtu wa Uru Kenyatta. Rafael Tuju ni mtu wa Jubilee. Rafael Tuju ni rafiki ya Matiani. Hilo peke yake linakuambia kwamba haya mazishi yalikuwa yamepangwa kufungia serikali ya Kenya kwanza from participating. Ladies and gentlemen The politics in Kenya kwanza is not new to us. Why? Because wakati kuna rally, wakati upinzani mepanga rally, kuna kuwa na arrests to scare. Hiyo ni kitu imekuwa ikifanyika for ages, not now. Hata Uhuru alifanya hiyo. Hata Kibaki alifanya hiyo. Hata Moi alifanya hiyo. Kwa mfano, kama upinzani imetangaza rally on Saturday, mnafanya arrests on Thursday so that you disrupt the engineers of you disrupt the planners you disrupt the program 
So Matianisa rest has nothing to do with what he did formerly. Matianisa rest has nothing to do with the Ruaraka land saga. It has nothing to do with that. Arresting Matianga has nothing to do with Kiburi alikuwa nayo kwa serikali vile wengine wanasema. It has nothing to do with that. Kuenda kwa Matianga usiku is to scare him away. From the, yani ni ku ni kukata makali ya mishara ambayo imepangwa tarehe moja kwa mazishi ya magoa. Ni kukata makali kidogo, eh, kukata. Najua uliona, uliona wakizungumza wakati rais wali. Ni kukata there's nothing else. Haya mazishi Matiani alisema kwamba yeye kama super CS wa former government and yeye kama super CS wa magoa wao ndio wanaenda kupanga mazishi from A to Z they want to fund the funeral from A to Z they want to do everything possible to accord magoa a dignity eh hiyo ni kizungu kweli okay kupatia magoa a decent burial right so nataka munielewe hivi kwenda kwa matiani usiku ni kumuogopesha asiende kutoa mishale siku ya magoa kwa sababu hawa watu wamepanga njama ya kumaliza Kenya kwanza wakati wa mazishi walikuwa wamepanga tayari ili kwa imepangwa na ikapangika kwa hivyo wale mnasema oh matiangi Ruara Karandi imeanza kumfuata oh matiangi hakuna kitu kama hiyo matiangi is a citizen a senior citizen of this republic who is protected by law who, who must enjoy the security who must enjoy everything as an ex cabinet secretary what the hours of fanya kitu kwa matiani they cannot arrest him they cannot kill him the only thing they can do is to scare him away from the funeral so sababu ya matiani kuenda usiku mapolisi kuenda kwa matiani usiku ni kujaribu ni serikali ya Kenya kwanza inajaribu kukata makali ya mazishi ya aliyokuwa waziri wa elimu Professor George Magwa lakini Kenya kwanza inapolipiza kisasi nataka niwakumbushe jambo moja power ends at a maximum of 10 years even kindiki will get out of power after 10 years Even William Ruto will get out of power after 10 years. After 10 years William Ruto will be a former president. So whatever is planting now. Akumbuke kwamba Matiangi is a young man who is likely to bounce back in the coming governments. So I want to warn Kenya kwanza, tread carefully. Matiangi alifanya makosa ndio. Matiangi got drunk with power. Yes, I agree and I've corrected him several in this platform. But then Matiangi's mistake is a mistake that any other government official should learn from and never to repeat it again why power is transient power changes power lasts for 10 years kenya kwanza be warned ladies and gentlemen nyinyi ombeni sana mkitoka baada ya miaka 10 muweke mtu wenu otherwise otherwise eh mtakiona chama nyinyi ndio mtafinywa makende kweli kweli god bless you santeni sana